Hi, Jen Whirl here, yoga and Qigong teacher. I've been getting some requests about back pain, unfortunately, but I'm here to help. This is Yoga Inspire. We're going to do some exercises to help alleviate this back pain, but remember that you need to do this at least a few times a week, even multiple times a day, whatever it takes to alleviate this pain. So we're going to stand with our feet hip width apart. You can also do this seated if you'd like, but we're going to take our arms out for um, both are 90 degrees. And again, this is spinal cord breathing. And when you inhale, you're going to see what you can do to reach up and back, opening up your chest, bringing your shoulder blades together. And then exhale, come forward, subtle bend in the knees, forearms are together, hands are in prayer, or just together. Inhale, open up the chest, again, shoulder blades try to connect. Exhale, forearms together. Take an inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, bring in the shoulders forward. And one more time, take an inhale. Nice open stretch and exhale, forearms together. You can do that a few more times. There's also another, uh, there's a couple more that I wanted to share with you that would be beneficial. Cat cow is pretty popular in yoga. So you're going to stay in a tabletop to start with and make sure that your hands aren't too far out. Your hands are right below your shoulders. Your knees are in line with your hips and the tops of your feet are on the mat. So when you inhale, you're going to curve your spine, open up your chest again, seeing if you can touch your shoulder blades, looking up, Exhale, press your hands into the mat, crown of the head towards your fingertips. Inhale, again, C curve, open up your chest, looking up. Exhale, pressing into the mat. If your knees are bothering you, you could just put a blanket or a bolster underneath. We'll do that two more times. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. And then subtle rotation in the hips. This is great for our hips, for our back, even our side body. I mean, if our back is in any kind of pain, we have to think of other areas that are connected to it. Sometimes it's not the back could be something else. So keep that in mind. Rotating to the opposite direction. Another one for helping with your back is a forward fold. You can do this standing as well. Option to put a pillow or a bolster right on your thighs and then fold forward. Always create length and then exhale moving forward. Feeling the stretch, every vertebra. Crown of the head is towards your feet. Take an inhale, coming up. Another one, of course, is down dog. If you're not comfortable doing down dog, then just go on a forward fold, right? I mean, forward folds are just as, just as productive same thing as we were doing on the floor a few minutes ago, even rag dolls. So clasping our arms together and then rotating from side to side, feeling the stretch in our side body and in our back and then slight bend in our knees, taking an inhale and then exhale, rising up. So try that out. Let me know how you feel. And please send me more requests. Thank you.